What's up guys, it's Peter from Extra Magic and today I have a very special video for you guys. I am at Disney's Wilderness Lodge to give you guys a quick tour and rundown of the resort in case you're thinking about staying here in the future. It's one of Disney's nicest resorts. It kind of has a rustic feel to it like you're in the middle of the woods. So make sure if you're not subscribed to the channel that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button as I'm always uploading new Disney videos on a weekly basis. Let's go check out the resort. Wow, look at this lobby. Here's the front desk where you check in. And if you look up, it is gorgeous in here. Wow. I wish you guys could smell in here too. It's got like a, like a old like wood smell to it. Looks like they have the um, cafe over here. If you want to grab a bite to eat. It's the Whispering Canyon Cafe. There's the times that they're open. Really nice. So I just came up the stairs here, right by the entrance, just to kind of give you guys an overlook from up here. They have all different carvings in the trees and everything, and it's really, really nice. And also up here where I came up, there's like a nice fireplace and seating. You can sit here for breakfast or if you just need a break, and it overlooks, and overlooks the lobby right down here. Really nice little spot to sit. Look, they even have like um, writing desks if you want to find a quiet spot to write or do some work. Right up here, this is on the um, second level if you come up the stairs. So pretty. So as a perspective, I came in right there through the, through the doors over there. And I came up the stairs this way and went up. That's how I ended up over here. And look, I mean, even around this whole second level, there's chairs to sit at. It's really nice and quiet up here. All right, so now I'm on the uh, direct other side. So I was over there before with the fireplace and the chairs. I came around. Now I'm on this side that actually overlooks out to the pool. And they have a spot you can go outside. Viewing area is open between 7.30 and 8 p.m. So you can go outside here and there's seats and everything and it overlooks looks like the pool and wow a nice little stream there's rooms that overlook this too up there if you see them really really serene and nice over here We're going to head down here to the pool in just a little bit once we're done with the inside, so stay tuned for that. Alright, so I just came back downstairs. Going to do a little more exploring here on the first floor. It looks like they have um, some like chairs in front of a fireplace over here, which is pretty cool. It's a whole bunch of like rocking chairs you can sit in front of this nice fireplace right over here. So if you look, that river that we saw outside actually starts in here. That is really, really cool. It starts in here and it goes outside. You can go over this bridge. There's also seating around here. There's definitely a lot of um, nice little places to sit in this hotel, like down here in the lobby. It's a lot of cool little spots. So here's uh, one of the signs here. Looks like they have the health club, bus transportation, clubs, Cubs Den and Game Arcade, Boulders. That's all this way. Let's walk down this way a little bit. 
Wow, look at this. This is this is really neat. Well, they have all this like stuff in the window. And then there's a store here. Let's go check out the store. Hello. Hello. So they have like the basic stuff you would probably find like in the park stores. They also have, um, you know, like sunscreen if you forget it and beach towels and all of that. Um, there's also, it looks like a little shop down here, like for food, beer, wine. Oh, this is nice. This is if, if you forget anything at home. It's all right here. A little shop, s'more food. Oh, they have stuff for s'mores you can do by the fire. Cereal. This is nice. Let's see what they have over on this side. And they have like pens over here. Disney Vacation Club member shirts. I guess if you're part of the Vacation Club. They also sell Disney um, luggage in here. If you're looking for Disney luggage. Oh, this is a nice magnet. Disney's Wilderness Lodge. $9.99. It's like made out of real wood. That's cool. So I just walked outside where those signs were, and here's um, the outside area. They have more windows with snacks and stuff that they sell in the gift shop, I guess, like Wilderness Lodge stuff. Here's the um, arcade. I guess for the kids, that's where that was. And I think if you follow this pathway down, it leads to the buses. Yeah, here we go. So. Boulder Ridge Villas Health Club, Bike and Boat Rental, Cascade Cabins, Bus. So that's all this way. So if you're part of the uh, Vacation Club and you had a Boulder Ridge Villa, it would be down here. Looks really nice down there. Oh, here's a nice running trail. So you can follow this trail, it looks like. Hmm. It goes out this way. That's pretty neat. It looks like it goes by the, the lake and everything. So I'm walking down near these villas right now just to see what I can see. It's really quiet. The birds are chirping. It's really, really nice. It doesn't even feel like we're in Florida, to be honest. It's like a very serene environment over here. They have the welcome home signs. Looks like there's more seating and other stuff out this way. I don't know if I can go in here because I'm not a... Oh, let's see. I guess I can go in here. Wow. So this is the main lobby for the villas. We have more seating in front of the fireplace and it's really nice lobby here. Here's the gym. Super nice. All right, let's go. Um, let's go explore like the outside area near the near the pool. Look at this, I didn't even realize this. It's Mickey holding the vacation club sign. How cute. So you can get to the um, pool in the outdoor area either from in the hotel that way where we came from or down this little path. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this path. We're gonna see where we end up. So there's a lot of um, walking space out here. They have the um, geyser, bar and grill, boat transportation, Boulder Ridge pool, Cascade cabin. So let's just walk this way for now and see what we run into. 
It's really, really nice. Like, they keep the grounds very well kept out here, and looks like the pool is through here. I don't know if I can get a closer look, but it's through the, it's right through there. So here's a nice little, like, um, outdoor restaurant that overlooks the lake over here. Super, super nice. I'll show you guys a uh, better view of the lake. So here's that restaurant, the Geyser Point Bar and Grill. And it sits right here on this lake. And it looks like the stream that we saw back in the hotel comes all the way down here and ends up in the, in the lake. Wow, so there's nice seating out here on the lake. Really, really nice. And it looks like you can rent the boats over there. If you wanted to rent a boat for a day, um, they have boat rentals over here. They're right over in that corner. You can ride around the lake. So it looks like this is actually another pool. Yeah, so here's a second pool. That's cool. So this pool has a little water slide in the middle. So if we were to come out of the um, hotel through the lobby, this is where we would end up. It's right over here. So I'll show you guys. This is, um, looks like this is that little river that we saw inside the hotel. It comes out right here. You can walk over it. It actually, wow, this, the river ends up in the pool. Look at that. That's cool. So I just climbed up here really quick just to show you guys. That's where we were standing um, earlier on the outdoor seating area looking out to this. This is that stream that starts in the hotel over there. It comes out and you end up out here. It's really, really pretty and serene out here. It looks like there's another um, restaurant out here. Unless it's just the one from the inside that has outdoor seating, which I think that's what it is actually. That one that we saw a little bit earlier. It looks like it has outdoor seating. Let's walk around the pool this way and see what else we can find here. I'm really liking this resort as far as um, being secluded and really like relaxing and I feel like we're in the middle of the woods. So this little path down this wooden uh, trail back here is supposed to lead you out to where the boats are. So let's take a look. Let's take a look down here. Boat transportation this way. I love this dock. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So let's see um, where the boats actually bring you to, just for reference for you guys. So it looks like this must be really pretty at night. All these light. Oh, look! There's people that rented the boats. They're driving around the lake today. Okay, so it looks like the boat, so the left one goes to Magic Kingdom. And it operates a half hour prior to park opening until one hour after park closes. And the right one goes to Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground and Disney's Contemporary Resort. And that one operates 6.45 to 11.30. So there's two different boat shuttles for you guys if you want to get over to Magic Kingdom and then you can also take the um, the monorail over to Epcot for Magic Kingdom if you're heading over to Epcot. So pretty convenient. Look at the view of this hotel from out here. Wow, I love all the trees and all the plants. All right, guys, so there's just one more spot that I'm going to bring you guys, which are the cabin lakeside villas that sit right on the lake. Super cool. 
But if you're watching this video and you enjoy it, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me if you liked the video and considered subscribing to the channel. I also wanted to point out this super cool shirt I got the other day for Hollywood Studios 30th anniversary. Um, I got it being a pass holder. Uh, it's a pass holder exclusive shirt that you only get if you're a pass holder. So I got it the other day. Super cool, super nice. Let's head over to the villas. So the Cascade Cabins, I don't know if you guys remember, but we came down this way originally, took a left up here, went to that restaurant, and then went over to the pool. The Cascade Villas are back this way. They have some boulders in here, Boulder Ridge Railway and Mining Co. Oh, that's cool. It's like a little, little train tracks. So here's a map of the resort. Um, we're right here, and these are the cascade cabins that sit right here on the lake so that's where we're heading um, that's the restaurant that we went to and that was the boat dock we were at earlier so super big resort a lot of places to walk and discover out here so here's where you would rent those boats if you wanted to that we saw a little earlier here's the prices that was back at the uh, the Boulder Ridge um, the Boulder Ridge Railway and Mining Co. I wasn't sure what it was called, but it's right back there. That's where you rent all your boats and stuff for the lake. So here are the uh, Cascade Cabins. So these are the ones, looks like you could rent a whole cabin. And wow, and it sits right there on the lake. Your, the view is the lake in your backyard. This is super, super neat. I wonder how much these go for. Wow. This is awesome. Look at these little things. There's the regular resort right there. And then here's the Cascade Cabins. You can see through the trees over there, the lake's right there. Looks like they have a little, um, little barbecue spot here. You can grill out like you're in the wilderness right here. How cool. There's definitely a lot of these cabins they have here. Looks like they go all the way back. So I made it down into the, uh, the very last cabin. I thought maybe we could see the lake at the end here. Looks like a little bit, but um, end of trail. <laughs> We've made it to the end of this trail. Doesn't go any further back that way, so. That's the end of this trail and also the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, a, a look at the beautiful Wilderness Lodge here at Disney Resort in Orlando, Florida. Again, make sure if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And let me know down in the comments if you stayed here at this resort and what you thought of it. I've never stayed here, but after visiting, I honestly would love to. I haven't seen the rooms, but I heard that they're amazing as well. So let me know if you've stayed here or if you want to stay here. But that'll do it for me. Again, my name is Peter from Extra Magic. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.